I do so by going to Terrain, Dam Volume. Go and specify water level, which surface I'm working with, your depth increments for your volume report. If you want a CAD output of it, and then also a very nice feature is to create a reservoir output file, which you could then utilize within the stormwater or surface drainage module. Click behind the dam wall, specify where you want the result, and then click on OK. So there we go, close to 226,000 cubic meters. If you look at our project, you can see that this water level is represented by a polyline. And if I go to the properties bar, you can see that polyline already has the water elevation. So using that, I can go back to the strings functionality, as in the function that I first showed you, go to string creation, this time a string from polyline, go and click on the polyline, and then pick up the elevation from the polyline entity. If you want to go and view that in 3D, again, you could go and right click, select render view, change your zoom view, specify which settings to use, and then go and right click and select circle around. Not only have you calculated your dam volumes, but you can also then go and view it in a three dimensional form.